Jay Naughty, welcome back. Good to see ya. Alright, let's see if I remember how to play this game. Alright, so what we found out is uh, an individual on our team betrayed us, but we were able to get Hoops Barkley back. Charles Barkley's son, he is the one. And, uh, oh, Barkley, wait. What the hell is that? There's, there's something I wanted to give you before you left. Wait, what? Whether you want to admit it or not, Barkley, I know you learned something from us when you were here in Cesspool X. It has been a long time since I've had spoken to a norm, and I forgot how much we had in common. I mean, it is where we all came from. Everyone here was a norm once. What do you want? Give me a basketball or something? No, Barkley. I wanted you to know that you taught me to believe again. You've given me the hope to believe that someday your people and my people can coexist. That someday there will be harmony between our two people and a bond of understanding and cohesion that will go beyond appearance. I wanted to give you one of my precious turkey feathers to symbolize the mutual strength we have gained from each other. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I thought you wanted to talk about rebounds or something. Barkley, I don't know where you're headed, but don't ever forget us here in Cesspool X. Farewell, friend. Goggins, what's up, man? Oh, there goes Mr. Turkey. What am I supposed to do with this? It symbolizes the potential unity between these animal people and us normal people, Charles. Just throw it away. I don't care. We've got to get moving. Right. Let's get going. All right, so we have a turkey feather from a guy that had plastic surgery to look like a turkey. All right. Hopping on that skull train. Is that is that a fun game? I, I haven't played it yet. I hear it's great. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Big surprise! Tenchi's Hungry 2013. <laughs> Alright, so this will be the first time we've used hoops. So I'm actually kind of interested to see how he plays. Alright, so we have an accurate shot. Medium damage, hold and release when the aim lines up with the target. Uh, rapid fire, repeatedly press fire to shoot. Low damage though. Hold and release when the lines meet to charge. Shots will miss on overcharge. Kinda doesn't have really great attacks. That... He has really crappy attacks. For being the one, he's kinda crap. Some Indian food? Nice! That sounds good. Let's see, let's use a different shot. Uh. High damage, hold and release, and the lines meet. That's the start key. Oh! Ho -ho! Preemptive strike. Boom! I still I think uh, Cyber Door is pretty amazing. Watch this damage. Oh! Is he shooting things or is he slingshotting? I can't tell. Spats, how you doing? Akesu, welcome! Akakesu, I always miss that second K. <laughs> nice, Sora. I'm glad, if nothing else, I can get you guys some good sleeps. Ooh, a secret. Chicken do! Nice! Rufus, I heard you've been complaining some about the security station at the gate. I understand your grievances. As such, I have ordered another shipment of weaponry from Square Enix Goya. It should be in by the weekend. Their quality arms this time. Meaning although those rats can be a bit of a nuisance, there should no longer be problems unattributable to human error. Meaning screw up again and you'll wake up swirling around at the bottom of the sewer grate and there'll be only a hundred little urchins ready to snap up what was your position. Don't compromise what little faith I still have in you, Alan. This Alan guy sounds like a real son of a... Alan. Uh-oh. I'm doing great, man. I'm just hanging out with all you guys, which I'm always happy to do. For Portal and hide yours, welcome to the stream. Sandwiches sound amazing. My god. Ooh, that's a lot of spiders. That's not good. Do you have special attacks, at least? Slay a foe with deadly guns. Attack all foes with bullets. Yeah, we'll attack all foes with bullets. See how this works out. Oh! Oh! The one! Calling out the big shots. Nice. Whoa. Let's 
Let's finish him off. Uh... Oh, I need to see if we still have the Nikes that we gave to uh, Vince Carter. That's not good. Uh, thank you much, very, very, very much, Umzok. Always good to see you, buddy, and uh, hopefully we see you again. Get some sleep, man. Get some sleep. Quinlan, welcome to the stream. Bye, Umzok. We love you. We love you. So we're going to give the Dwarf the Nikes, which are going to give him massive speed-ups. And that will allow him to have turns faster. Very, very good. <laughs> oh, whistles. These things hit really hard. You know what? Let's uh, bullet dance again. Running out of BP. get a kill, huh? See, that's kind of lowish damage to do that. Might be able to finish him. Yeah! Alright, Cyber Dwarf. It's all on you. Kick him! Kick him! <laughs> Actually, that does half decent damage. Walk around music. LaCrid, <laughs> welcome. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? That guitar. This is probably where we need to go, so let's look around. Enemies will not respawn in the game, so we have to do farm as much as we can while we can. Ooh, that's a lot of places to go, actually. Headed down to Proto Neo New York might want to stock up for it. Some people don't. Come back with some real horror stories. Anyways, here it is. Ooh, nice. Uh, Dwarf Warhammer. Ecto Coolers. Let's buy the Dwarf Warhammer. We have plenty of money. Alright, so let's get our Dwarf. Ooh, look how much more damage that does. Holy hell. Let's see if we can sell some stuff. anymore. We don't need that. You know what? Can we equip... Beastar! What's up? How you doing? There we go. Literally stalking through the shadows, his midnight obsidian skin shining beneath the moonlight. The drow ranger crept up behind the knoll and disemboweled him with his dual-edged scimitar. Talking to me, kid. Can't you see I'm writing a Drista word in fan fiction? Yes! <laughs> yes! B Star comes in and we get NPCs writing Drista word in fan fiction. It's awesome. Blitz Money, welcome back, man. <laughs> Glad to hear it, B Star. Uh, or as the fanfic community elites say, a ficky. I've never heard that. Where's Katie? We need to we need to uh, make sure that this is we need to verify this information. I'm waiting down here for my turn to be operated on by Dr. Allard. I've managed to save up enough money to have my skin dyed completely black, much like that of the nefarious subterranean race of elves called Drow. My aim is to have enough money to look completely like Driss by the end of the year. Although I've had to scrimp and save more than I'd like. Uh, I should probably if you want, I could read you some of my poetry about Driss. This one I like to call Ranger of Kindness. D, deflects incoming attacks with a swipe. R, read about him in a book. I, interesting, dapper fighting style. Really dapper. Z, for zazzy pivots and dodges. Z, for zero tolerance for bugbears. T, twin scimitars cut swaths through the night. D, dangerous lava caves. O, ovation he receives from his heroic deeds. U, utilizes somersaults to block attacks. R, ricochets with a bow or arrow. D, destruct all goblins but not for racism. E for enigma of few words. N never stops helping friends and peasants. 
What did you think? I enjoyed your subtle use of iambic penta. Jesus, Baltios! <laughs> what? But not for racism. <laughs> Get out of my face, Nat! Oh! Hey there, you headed down? Uh, not interested in hookers, lady. Try someone else. Easy, easy. Just making a little conversation. I'm about to go down myself. It's dangerous down there, but it's worth the risk depending on how much you can pull up. Proto Neo New York artifacts can go for a lot. Collector types with Neo shekels to burn. This toll kills me, though. I'm paying 5000 a trip to Alan. Also, I have enough to pay him again for surgery. What kind of surgery would that be? You don't mind me asking. Something for my first business. Uh, I see. Man, I know I've seen your face somewhere before. Uh, um, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. That's it, Charles Barkley! Man, the doctor did a great job on your operations. Most guys who get the Charles Barkley operation come out looking like Patrick Ewing or something. That looks fantastic. Wait, what? Charles Barkley operation? Man, you're already in character. You're a real inspiration, you know that? Me? I'm here for the Wilt Chamberlain operation. Boy's been a dream of mine to dribble a b-ball in the visage of one of the game's greatest. I mean, just everything about the guy was amazing. His dunks, his rebounds, his shots, his passes. I could pretty much go on forever about him. I'm so nervous. My dreams are about to come true. People get surgery to look like Charles Barkley? Yeah, you're not the first. He's got a whole fan base of guys who's got the surgery. Yours is the best I've ever seen, though. It looks so real. Uh, Jesus Christ. I've, uh, I've gotta go. Okay, later, man. Keep it real. Okay, so this is where we need to go. Charles Barkley operation. Man, I really hope Charles Barkley knows about this game. I really, really hope he does. Oop. Man, there's all kinds of stuff down here. Jesus. Oh, sh almost got back attack. Uh Okay, so press fire to shoot, press left and right to switch targets. Okay, so this is actually really nice. There we go. Able to take out a couple of those guys. Oh, it's too bad that that misses a lot, but that's good for taking out those really weak uh, the ball droids. Game reminds you of your high school? Your high school was amazing. If Oh, if Charles Barkley did the voiceovers, that would be amazing. <laughs> Knowing him, he, I mean, for what little I do know about him, I could see him doing that. Charles Barkley seems like a cool guy. The Cyber Dwarf High School. <laughs> Suplex! Oh! <laughs> Don't have high schools. <laughs> true. Very true. Thanks everybody for coming out and hanging out with me again today. I really appreciate it. Charles Barkley. Oh, only my voice now is Charles Barkley. <laughs> we got a face mask. What is that? Is it gonna be okay? Just like what it sounds. Who's got really low defense? Guard 51, 53. Actually, Charles does. Ah, oh, that's a lot of defense. Swag. Like the cherry in 74 bit. How you doing? Welcome. Always good to see ya. See the door over there? The one that won't open? What about it? Heard there's a trick to opening. Something about a key 
And uh, Cuchulains. Cuchulains? Cuchulains? Does that mean anything? Nope. Yeah, me neither. Just wondering. Alright, so we gotta find a tomb for secret loots. I like this. Hey man, can you spare me 10 Neo Shekels? I'm trying to save up for my surgery. Sure, why not? There you go. Thanks man, I've been saving up, but I wasn't getting anywhere. Pretty soon that tail is gonna be mine. Uh, not gonna ask. Insufficient science points, damn it! Have a good one, V-Star, enjoy your nap! That sounds amazing right now. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's pick up a couple tiers just in case. A couple tobaccos just in case as well. Alright, here comes yet another wonderful, uh, here comes a long exposition why Japanese are better. <laughs> Among the most prominent Japanese composers, although I use the word Japanese superfluously, as even the most well-known American composers are fairly competent at best, one in particular stands out to the enlightened VidCon soundtrack consumer. His name, Yasunori Mitsuda. For the record, this is not to undermine the amazing works of those other incredible talented VidCon composers, such as Uematsu-san or Sakuraba-san, but to highlight the unique, almost uh, gelto-tropical music the word music is an understatement, that Yasunori Mitsuda has been composing for years. It'd be sheer ignorance to die that the Chrono Cross soundtrack is anything but the magnum opus of VidCon music. Its lifting and oftentimes hauntingly peaceful guitar melodies soothe all but the most savage of breasts, while it tense battle themes and I'm sure it's supposed to be beasts? <laughs> and mysterious donjon tunes ignite a blazing passion that can be quenched only by the VidCon's profound story and gameplay. It is a wonder that anyone can listen to anything besides VidCon musical compositions after listening to Mitsuda-san's immensely powerful soundtrack. But given that the primitive thuds of hip-hop and America's current choice of music, I use the term music liberally, one can see little hope in the mass appreciation of Mitsuda-san's work. Thank you again, overly racist save point thing. <laughs> KJ, what's up? Oh, the clinic. Huh. I don't know where I'm supposed to go! I see you staring. Don't worry. I actually uh, get it quite often. You're running what I am, correct? I'm a Geldrock, a species of my own creation. Some restrict their appearance to imaginaries found in the natural world, animals and like. I aim for true expression. My current form is a testament to the awesome powers of the imagination of the good doctor here, Dr. Allard. is expensive. Uh, I read that wrong. But extraordinarily talented. He had the ability to transform me into exactly what I desired. Not just some mundane barnyard beast. Needless to say, I took advantage of this. Ezekiel, Galdraka of the Far Flames. Greetings, stranger. Okay. See this hair? A few months ago, it was a dirty blonde bowl cut. Three treatments and 9,000 Neo Shekels later, and look at me. The spitting image of Klaus Mitsurugi. Mitsugiri. Uh, that's new to me. The hell are you talking about? Klaus Mitsugiri, aka He Who Walks With Death. Pilot of the Devil Blade Mark II Mecha. Does that make sense to anybody? <laughs> Makes more sense to me be so. <laughs> Oh, praise Mitsuza-san! <laughs> He's the protagonist of uh, Hyperborea 12. Hyperborea, no legends. It's only my favorite installment of the greatest VidCon series in existence. Frankly, I'm a bit shocked you don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, I played that. Remember that part, right? That when you're fighting that, uh... Oops, we gotta go. Dad, I'm just... We're going. Now. Stupid hoops. Oh, Charles, he was just talking. Look at him. Look at this hair. I'd rather hoops talk to those animal people back at cesspool legs. Yeah, they've got no problem. This guy's just a damn freak. No way in hell my son's gonna turn out like that. Fair enough. Damn, Charles, taking names. N4, what's up, man? Got it yet? Uh, I'm not here for surgery, son. Sure, so what kind of surgery are you not here for? Oh, fuck this. <laughs> oh, Barkley, you have such a way with words. What's up? What's wrong with you? My, my F9. Can't you see? I work in the sewers. I'm a plumber. So this bolt shoots off a pipe and hits me in the eye. And when I get around, when I get here, they make me wait. I go blind. And this doctor has me waiting here. It's all these freaks who want to be turned into gosh darn animals. Uh, animal people get it when I'm, when I'm bleeding out the eye. You can't do this. It's my eye. Somebody should teach the bastard a lesson. Animal freaks get in because they walk in with pocket stuff with neo chickens. I'm the one that's the emergency, and I get the shaft. God, man, that guy has a lot to, lot to, lot to say. 
Oh god, is that Leia? Quit looking at my nose. It's not my darn fault. Look pretty messed up, chump. <laughs> Alec promised me 30 grand for a full conversion. Now, the last minute he's holding out, asking for 35. Greedy son of a bitch. I was just two antlers and a nose away from being the reindeer I've always wanted. The only thing I ever wanted. I just can't afford another 5,000. I was so close, too. Do you have any concept of what it's like to have your life's soul dream snatched away from you? Uh, a little. That's what Alec does to me. He does it all to us. And there's nothing anybody can do. He's the only one willing or skilled enough to do a full conversion. And he knows it. Hey, 74. How you doing, man? Please, just leave me alone. Oh, sorry, lady. I don't mean to be rude. There's just a lot on my plate right now. Let's bugger. Shouldn't bother. Hospitals can be rough on people. Oh, You look pretty much done. Excuse me? You mean with surgery, correct? Well, this is actually a bit embarrassing. I'm actually not done yet. I mean, I've got my face pretty much finished, but under this cloak, I'm just as human as anyone. I saw what the reindeer over there looked like half done and figured it would be best to cover up. It's quite jarring, I think. I can't say any of you animal people look any different. The reindeer is a real mess, though. Anyways, just a few more treatments for me. It cost me a fortune, but it'll be worth it to live in peace among kindred spirits. There's a city down there, you know. Accessible exit, it's called. I've heard wonderful things. Uh, I do not want to be an animal. Nothing wrong with being an animal, I'm perfectly fine the way I am. <laughs> like your orange friend over there, the doctor could be could do some real good work on him. I'm guessing you're not here for surgery, though. All the same, you're going to have to wait. Plenty of paying customers have been here for much longer than you have. Go have a seat. I was in with a patient. Shut up. Aw, uh, what the hell do you think you're doing? Dr. Allen takes one patient at a time. Don't try that again. Aw, uh, I can't, can't force my way in there. Okay, that was all. A lot of text for nothing. One animal attribute. I want to slide on my belly like a penguin. But yeah, it's, this is a very text-heavy game. Have a good one, Sniper, and I'll make sure you get your uh, your game code later. Okay, is there... I think we've gone to pretty much everywhere. We just have here and there, right? That's not... I think that's the only place we go. Dr. Allen charges 5000 for a trip down the side of the thing. Nobody that comes here doesn't want to get fast with me. And nobody who's going to fast without a lighter wallet. It's a decent situation we have going here. It's gone without a hitch for a while now, so 5000 gets you a round trip. Down the ladder once and up the ladder once. How's that sound? What? 5000 is an outrageous price. There's got to be another way down. Not a chance. Pay up or shut up. Don't pay. You're supposed to be out of your mind, punk. That's the price. 5000 and you're not getting through, Dr. Allen's Find a, another way to get through, I'm guessing. Seems like we're at an impasse. It doesn't seem like we're going anywhere until we pay the toll the gate, large as it may be. It's 5,000 neo shekels, Balthiels. There's no way in hell I'd pay these thugs a damn thing. I definitely wouldn't pay him 5,000. It's extortion, and I'm not gonna tolerate that shit. I say we go rough up that punk at the gate, and hell, we should probably go teach this Dr. Allen and all his goons a lesson while we're at it. Charles, you can't just go around beating on anyone and everyone you want. What they're doing isn't right, but the damn right it is. People come down to these sewers to escape from shit on the surface. Both of And once they make it down there, they've got to deal with this Allard and his thugs. Get it. I'm not going to put up with it. So you're finally showing some sympathy for the sewer dwellers. I meant I'm not going to put up with it when it affects me and my son. That's hard enough to make ends meet in the post cyberpocalypse. And that money can be put to good use. Not wasted on some bullshit toll. Dad, it's okay. I mean... Let's just give him the money, it's fine. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Can't always spend less money. We ain't gonna spend less money, we gotta beat some people up. Hell yeah. Oops, 
taught you that sometimes people need to stand up for what's right, haven't I? Well, this is one of those times. Salvador, what's wrong? Mm, nothing, nothing at all. We just need to get a move on. The Spalding Factory is our goal. Whatever you decide to do about this, do it quickly. We don't have the time to squander on these petty conflicts. Blood Moses must be stopped. You heard it, Charles. Decide what we're going to do. Either we pay the toll or we pay a visit to wherever you like. Dr. Allen or the gate guard. You also might want to find out uh, who this Rufus is. Uh, who that Rufus in the note is. Also, we know is a all we know is a name, but perhaps looking into it can give us something we can use. In any case, choose quickly. Please. Beat up Dr. Alec. Can we beat up you, Rufus? Why you want to know? I saw a note someone left for you. Uh, wait, you? You don't even know if I'm Rufus or someone else. So you got the motive, huh? Thank you as much from a sucker like you. What? You want to fucking go? Always up for a game, but what I want to know right now is how to get to see this Alan. I get the idea you don't like it too much either. Wow, did we, we guess him right off the bat, huh? Nice. What are you planning on doing? Maybe teaching him a lesson? Making my day, you know that? That asshole sent me down here for one tiny mistake I made at the game. Docked my pay too, not that it was too much to begin with. So you say you're going to go in there and mess him up? That's the plan. Alright, tell the guards at the gate that when we get the final hardware, the performance is just going to skyrocket. What's that supposed to mean? I think it's something Alan said once. It's a code you can use. Let's get through. Tell the guards that sent you and that uh, when we get the final hardware, the performance is just going to skyrocket. I'll know it came from me. Alright, thanks for the help. I should be thanking you. Dr. Alan's a real... He deserves anything you give him. Why do I have a feeling that we're going to get through a trap? Save in just in case. When we get the final hardware, the performance is just gonna skyrocket. Rufus sent me. Okay, okay, so out loud. I don't wanna have to learn another code. Hurry up and go in. Yes. What's up? We here, we gotta kick your ass, Alan. Hmm. And who exactly are they? Uh they just came in, didn't say. You there. I don't believe you have an appointment scheduled. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask if you all could leave. Can't do that, Doc. Then why not? We run the gate. We need to get through it. That's there's a procedure for that, you know. Head to the gate. I'm sure the men there will explain it for you. I ain't paying your goddamn toll, Alan. Forsetti, welcome! Oh really? Well, we'll have to talk about that. First of all though, you know my name, but I don't know any of yours. It's none of your business. Just open the gate before your ass gets slammed and jammed. Yeah. Oh, wait, I remember you. From all those news reports, Barkley. Charles Barkley, is it? Just let us through the gate. Charles Barkley, that's right. You're a wanted man, you know. Sirens have been blaring on the surface all day. We hear the echoes down here. I assume they are looking for you. Fifteen million. That's quite a bit of damage you did to Manhattan, Barkley. That wasn't me, son of a... Right, uh, whenever somebody comes to the sewers, it wasn't them. Regardless, you aren't the best situ you aren't in the best situation now, you know. The police and the b-ball removal department looking for you topside. And here, you are in my office acting like you have some kind of upper hand. Pitiful. You and your friends there are at my mercy, and you come at me with threats. Do you have any idea who I am? I run these sewers. All of these rats bow to me. They need me. I'll give you the chance to turn around now. Barkley, perhaps we shouldn't. Shouldn't. He's a fucking tyrant, and it needs to be stopped. A tyrant? <laughs> I'm a blessing to these rats. Here's a story for you. I wasn't always a doctor. I worked for a software company. We did computers, vidcons, and things. I was grotesque. A pasty, balding wreck. My physical form was flabby and weak, so I decided to change it. Plus Payeth put me uh, a disgusting sack of flesh, and so I went to work on it. I studied genetic engineering, plastic surgery, and even fashion. I was bald, so I gave myself hair. I cut away my fat and grew muscles in instead. Uh, God gave me a body. I refused it and made another to my liking. I destroyed God's plan for me and made another of my own. And to these people in the sewers, I took his place. They come to me, sad souls imprisoned in pathetic husks. I am the one who sets them free. This time, I am their creator. I gave them life, and so I claim these sewers as my dominion. And here you make demands of me. In these sewers, I am a god, and I have love for it. You there, me. Your skin, 
leathery pattern. It doesn't look synthetic.